Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on strain energy. Let us read the question one time. A simply supported beam of span 6 meter is subjected to a concentrated load of 45 kN at 2 meter from the left support. Calculate the deflection under the point load. Take Young's modulus E is equal to 200 into 10 power 6 kN per meter square and moment of inertia I is equal to 14 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. Using the data, we can draw the diagram. The length of the beam is given as 6 meter. The beam is carrying 45 kN point load from the left support at the distance of 2 meter. We have to calculate the deflection under the point load. In the question, the Young's modulus and moment of inertia are given. Let us multiply both of them for our own convenience. So, Ea is equal to 2800 kN meter square. Now, let us calculate the reactions. First, let us calculate Ra. For that, let us take moment about B. In this case, we are moving right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 6 meter. So Ra into 6, the 45 kN point load is acting towards the point B in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. The distance is 6 minus 2. So it will be 4. So minus 45 into 4. Finally we are getting Ra which is equal to 30 kN. Then let us calculate Rb. We can easily calculate Rb by taking the total load. In this beam, the total load is 45 kN. 45 minus Ra, we will get Rb, which is equal to 15 kN. Now, let us calculate the strain energy due to bending. For calculating the strain energy, we have to make two sections, one before the point load and one after the point load. So, let us split the strain energy into two parts, U1 and U2. We will get the total strain energy by adding U1 and U2. We know the formula for strain energy. 1 by 2 Ea into integration of m square dx. But here we are having two sections, one before the load and one after the load. For the first section, the limits will be 0 to 2. For the second section, the limits will be 0 to 4. Now, let us make the first section. The first section should be made between the points A and C. The section should be made in the distance of X from the point A. We have to calculate moment about the section. We are going to calculate the moment about the section from the point A. In this case, we are moving right hand side, clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction 30 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. And the distance is x, so 30 into x, so m1 is equal to 30x. In the u1 formula, we can apply m1. 30x the whole square, we will get 900x square. 900 by 2. We will get to 450. Then we can go for integration. When we integrate x square, it will become x power 3 by 3. Then we can apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit and waste the time because the whole time will become 0. Only apply the upper limit. Instead of x, we have to apply 2. After the calculations, we are getting 1200 by EI. Ea is equal to 2800 kN m square. We can apply. Finally, we are getting U1 is equal to 0.42857 kN m. Now, let us make the second section and find out U2. The second section should be made between the points C and B. And it should be made at the distance of X from the point B. We have to calculate moment about the section. We are going to calculate the moment about the section from the point B. In this case, we are moving left hand side. Clockwise will be negative, anticlockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction 15 kN 
is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so 15 into x finally we are getting m2 is equal to 15x for m2 we can apply 15x 15x the whole square we will get 225 into x square then we can do the integration in the same way we did in the previous step finally we are getting 2400 by ei we know the value of ei that is 2800 kN meter square we can apply finally we are getting u2 is equal to 0.85714 kN meter now we can calculate the total strain energy by adding u1 and u2 finally we are getting u is equal to 1.28571 kN meter work done by the load is equal to half into 45 into yc 45 is the load which is acting in the point C, YC is the deflection in the point C. Now we can equate the strain energy and the work done by the load. We can take 45 by 2 on the left side. It will come as 2 by 45. Finally we are getting the deflection in the point C. YC is equal to 0 0.05714 meter. We can multiply by 1000 and get the value in millimeter that is 57.14 millimeter. Alternatively, we can calculate the deflection using the formula. In the previous video, we have already made one derivation. If the point load is not acting on the center, the formula for deflection is W A square B square by 3 E I L. W is 45 kN, A is 2 meter. B is 4 meter, the length is 6 meter, the EA value we have already calculated that is 2800 kN meter square. After applying all the values in the formula, we are getting the same result that is 0 0.05714 meter. We can multiply by 1000 and get the value in millimeter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.